What is up my frosty brethren? My name is Arctic and today I'm going to be talking about weapon loadouts I've used in Trials of Osiris. Uh, I've used a whole lot of weapons. I'm not really a min-maxer. I don't feel the, the need or pressure to do so uh, in this game. So I, it allows me to kind of experiment with a lot of different weapons. And some of you guys may find some that I've used that uh, really fit your style of play. I'm going to talk kind of briefly about that. Uh, and uh, there's one specific weapon, Ill Will, which I had a lot of folks ask me about in the last two videos that I was just going to talk about the build that I have there um, just to get that out there and talk about why that role is so good um but getting into the loadouts i had a uh, jewel of osiris i use that that is the uh trials of osiris hand cannon ill will talked about that one just a second ago i use fate brinker up the ante scholar bad juju last word thorn red death vision of confluence and mita multi-tool there might be a couple others in there but those are the ones that immediately come to mind uh for my special i use praetis revenge patience and time Purin's fire fusion rifle and i also used fell winner's lie back from when i got it way way long ago and my uh heavy has not changed uh, after i got tomorrow's answer but previously i was using ray gas fury uh, and then i switched over to tomorrow's answer because it i mean on paper i just have a better role with that so um you know having grenades and horseshoes which is proxy detonation and tripod is excellent on a rocket and so it just ultimately wipe folks really quickly Grenades I've been using uh, for my Hunter's Arc Bolt uh, on the Arc Blade and for my Gunslinger I've been using Trip Mine. I have seen some folks use Incendiary but I have not used them yet. I think Trip Mine is better for, um, you know, once you down an enemy player, throwing that Trip Mine over their Ghost is uh, fantastic. Warlocks I've been using Action Bolts a bit. Now that I have the Manacles I've been using Scatter Grenades which are phenomenal. And for my Sunsinger I've been using Fire Bolt exclusively with uh, either gift of the sun or touch of the flame and with my titans very similar reasoning as the gunslinger i've been using those lightning grenades non-stop sticking them to walls once i have the enemy players down and i've been considering using the suppressor grenade on the defender titan but i have not and i repeat i have not taken my defender titan into trials of osiris i just feel like the supers are pretty useless i have seen a couple things work on the reses but uh, at the end of the day, it's I need to, I need to be damaging folks, not not throwing up bubbles. So I I think the suppressor grenade would be kind of fun and trolly uh, for some people in trials. But uh, ultimately, you know, I'd rather have something a little bit more effective from a, a damage output side. So you know, you don't really often see, to be honest, defender titans in trials of Osiris. I've seen maybe three, three guys, and I've played like 300, 400 matches so far, maybe 300 matches. Uh, of of trials just round after round after round not seeing anything like that so uh yeah there's the, there's the grenades now the styles of play that i have here are aggressive flankers and support i uh kind of fit into the flanker role uh that with my main team uh you can say i'm support either way uh since teddy and famas are kind of kind of more aggressive than me but uh you know i think famas has a more similar style is a better sniper than me but more similar style of play than me uh, but for aggressive play, both of them are uh, using Last Word, which I, I've used. It's fantastic for, uh, you know, kind of pushing the map. Thorn, probably one of the uh, best weapons you can use in Trials, just from a, a pure, you know, what does it do and the most situations type of weapon. It has probably the best overall performance of any weapon that you can use. So Thorn is a top, top choice for me. Uh, you can also use Bad Juju or Red Death here. And you probably want either high rate of fire sniper something like Praetor's revenge uh prudence two or patience in time violator also comes to mind uh if you are an aggressive style player you want to get those quick snipes uh, if you can catch people around corners really quickly you can pull it off um you know i've gotten a lot of quick scopes on folks so that's why i like the high rate of fire sniper rifles because you can use them in cqc with ambush scope uh very effectively shotguns also work here if you're rolling with uh you know fell winners or matador or whatever and get away with uh depending on the map and your knowledge of where you can move you can get away with some stuff you know shotgunners really need to know the safe zones that they can run in and when to pull out their primaries, which should be often, uh, just so they can also help out their teammates. Flankers, I think, are really important. And the weapon I need to highlight right here is the Mita Multi-Tool. Some of you guys have seen me utilize it 
time and time again, especially on Pantheon and just getting to positions faster. And this is why flanking becomes so important and crucial is because, you know, once that team is engaged, enemy team is engaged, if you're flanking, they don't know where you're at. You got that Mita multi tool. You can get out and really do some damage with them either by switching to your sniper, lining up some headshots or just straight up uh, damaging them with the Mita. So it's great for positioning and getting around the map which makes it excellent for flankers and what you know the guys the one-off positioning that's run into a certain spot also use red death here ill will scholar and vision of confluence those weapons kind of line up very similar to uh support i think high rate of fire snipers also work excellent here just because you kind of the engagements aren't necessarily cqc if you're flanking and more uh further away especially on widow's court so uh you know i don't really think a shotgun is going to be that effective support Again, you can use a lot of different stuff here. Uh, I personally prefer Vision of Confluence or Mita Multi-Tool, Scholar, something like that, if I'm playing a support role. But Red Death, Bad Juju can also work. A Thorn also works really well, and again, in all of these positions, just because it has great range. And that's what I'm looking for in support is great range. You probably want a res uh, piece, so either the helmet on the Warlock or chest pieces on the Titan or uh, Hunter. Fusion rifles, high rate of fire fusion rifles can work here. If you go something like Vision of Confluence Plan C, uh, I might have tried that one map and it worked pretty well. But Purance Fire also worked for me uh, in that position. If you can't shotgun, don't really like uh, sniping, fusion rifle is kind of your thing. You might be able to work some stuff in with one of those high rate of fire um, uh, fusion rifles. Also, the high impact snipers come into play if you're playing support, something like an LDR 5001. Ephraid Eat Spear or Icebreaker. If you're playing support and you're not really pushing around the map, it might not grant a lot of opportunities for you to grab ammo. So Icebreaker could be something that could be utilized here as well. And uh, that's pretty much it. The one weapon I wanted to talk about was Ill Will. I had a lot of people asking me what hand cannon I was using in the last two tips and tactics videos I pumped out. And the one that I'm using right now uh, that's kind of been fun is Ill Will. Specific roles that I have on it are Final Round, Braced Frame, and Luck in the Chamber. And what this does is allow me to crit for 127 points of damage on the Luck in the Chamber. Uh, and the Braced Frame drops it down from 7 to 5. So I have a higher percentage chance of getting, uh, getting that crit uh, versus 7. Or I think at the high end it gets 10, I believe, with uh, Field Scout. So, you know, there's a great opportunities for me to crit uh, with that. And then on the last round, because it's five, it's really quick. I get another 127 on the final round. This can stack. You can actually get it. The luck in the chamber on the very last round. And if you crit on your final round plus luck in the chamber, you'll do 168 points of damage. I had a lot of people ask me if it's a one shot. It is not, unfortunately. But uh, you can really wreak some havoc and have people scratching their heads like, what did I just die to? And that's one of the reasons I wanted to use Ill Will. You can also roll this on uh, Timmer's Lash if you've happened to got it, gotten it in Iron Banner or will get it in Iron Banner. Uh, again, it has the same rate of fire and impact as Timmer's Lash. So that will be a roll that I'm sure people will be going for. And now you know the secret. This is the mini Hawk Moon, the baby Hawk Moon on the Xbox One. It's the Ill Will with the specific role that I have. So that's all I got for loadouts today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe so you guys don't miss any more of my tips and tactics videos. And until the next time, folks, I will catch you all later. Stay frosty. If you like this video, you should probably click on the one down below. That'll take you to another video. You may like it. A little bit about me. I'm a former pro player. I play PC and console, mostly shooters. I also have a gaming podcast. I do tips and tactics, live gameplays. Check out my Twitch. Also, I work in the industry. Why are you not subscribed?